given a quadratic function, the coefficient of x squared is always called a. The coefficient of x is always called b, and then the constant is always called c. Sometimes an expression is not in this form. You can rearrange the terms in order to get the right a, b, c. Now we solve our problems. The coefficient of x squared 3 is a, and 7 is b, negative 26 is c. To factor a quadratic function when the leading coefficient is not 1, there are several different methods that may be used. Let's see what is involved in the AC method. First, we find the product of a and c. First, a times c, which is 3 times negative 26, is negative 78. Second, we try to find two numbers, x and y. Their sum should equal to b and uh, their product should equal to the product of a and c. So in this problem we try to find two numbers x and y. The product of x and y should equal to negative 78. The sum of x and y should equal to 7. To find these two numbers, we find all possible factors of 78 first. So we can say a, 78, or 1, 78, 2, 39, 3, 26, 4 and 5 doesn't work. 6, 13, 7, 8, 9, doesn't work. Then we find the sum and the difference for each pair of factors. One plus seventy-eight is seventy-nine. The difference is seventy-seven. So forty-one, thirty-seven, twenty-nine. The difference is twenty-six. The sum is nineteen. The difference is seven. We find the number match to B which is 7 so we need to choose this pair of factors because the product of A and C is a negative number a negative number here the sign of these two number should be different because B is 7 the big number 13 should be positive and the 6 should be negative. So negative 6 plus 13 is 7. Otherwise, if you do 6 plus negative 13, we'll get negative 7. That's what we, it's not what we, we want. So we need to choose negative 6 and the 13. After we find the numbers, We need to write the equation. Three x squared minus six x plus thirteen x minus negative twenty six. So actually, these two term is seven x. Next step. Factor by grouping. The 
The common factor of first two terms is 3x. We pull out 3x. So x left, 2 left. The common factor of the third and the fourth terms is 13. So we pull out 13. x left, 2 left. Next, simplify. The common factor is x minus 2 here. So x minus 2. So 3x left and 13 left. This is our solution. So they both a factor of the polynomial. Mm, one more thing I wanted to talk. If the product of A and C is negative number, the sign of two numbers should be same or should be different. If a and c is the product of a and c is positive number, the sign of two numbers should be same.